Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanland. The response we got from our last video about the Infinity System was so overwhelming from you guys that we wanted to give you some more content because we know you're hungry to learn more. So in today's video, we have the Chief Creative Officer and the brains behind the Infinity System, Jamil Hope here. Um, and we're gonna be asking some questions based on your guys' responses to our video. So I'm stoked, thanks for joining, and let's get to it. One of the things that drew me into the Infinity System is just how different it is than everything else that's out there. Um, that's something that really intrigued me. So can you talk a little bit about what was the kind of design philosophy behind creating this system? Well, you know, I spent 20 years designing, fabricating custom elements. I've just had, the, the, I think, the really good fortune of getting to work with amazing people, see amazing details, and bring those into everything I do, especially the vans. Yeah. So obviously that you know, heavily influenced you know, what I'm doing today, but kind of the origin story is you know, I, my dad, um, back in the 70s, had a custom Chevy van that he built out, painted, built out the whole interior. So my brother and I you know, grew up in that van. Fast forward to my 20s, I had my first, uh, my, one of my first vehicles was a Westphalia. And um, you know, just the memories of being in that van, the um, the Euro aesthetic, just the tightness of design, everything was super essential. That always stuck with me, you know, how well that worked. And um, so, about 15 years ago, I got my first Sprinter. Was formulating ideas, but it wasn't until about five years ago that I started actually implementing those ideas into. I had a 2017 four by Sprinter. And, you know, I just wanted to pull together all of those elements of, you know, 70s, you know, and really my, my Westie was from, you know, 75. So th that the 70s was really influential in my okay, life, you know. Cool. And What was your experience as you got into building your own vans and then doing them for other people? You know, for me, it was um, I, I kind of knew starting out and building vans that um, that it was a prototype process. So everything that I was doing, I was kind of chalking it up to prototyping. Because um, I knew that at some point I wanted to develop, you know, something that was, you know, kind of a whole system. I had a system that I started developing, you know, just before I started getting into, you know, the panelizing the van. That system was a, you know, residential, commercial, half-inch multiply, like wall-hanging system for, you know, shelving and such. So I kind of just moved that, migrated that, that design idea into the van so that I could have modularity in the van and have like basically like a peg system for hanging things. That initial concept grew into, I, I knew that I needed a really good way to have a substructure that uh -huh. I could then apply a finish panel that was very, had very intentional placement of fasteners, but I couldn't find that really intentional placement with a single panel. Right. Um, so that started informing the, the double panel, the sub panel finish panel system. And obviously one of the things that, um, you know, that was of concern early on, and I know people have expressed concern about um, the panel weight and, you know, using wood panels. And um, so early on, that was an important uh, factor for me is weight. So I spent as much time as I could basically hollowing out, cutting out, like making sure that there was still solid structure mm -hmm. and, and could actually sustain weight and load bearing but that cut out as much weight as possible. Right. So, you know, ultimately, you know, the system I believe is, is fairly ultra light yeah. <laughs> in that, you know, it has kind of the best of both worlds. It has the structure of wood and good, good quality wood, but also has reduced weight, you know, right. just by the nature of working with the CNC. Yeah, agreed. It was, it was definitely one of the things when I was first introduced to the system, I was like, you know, how heavy is, our two wood panels together. Mm -hmm. But then when I saw the, the sub panels, which had about 50%, it looks like, of the material removed, and then the finished panels, which have maybe 20% pocketed out or 25%. Yeah, um, I think it's probably more like, yeah, it's up to 35%. 35%, the panels. yeah. Okay. So seeing that go together and knowing what vans weigh, um, as a builder, you know when your van is finished, like, is this a heavy build or not? Of course, you can weigh it, but also by just using the shocks to see how much weight is on it. Um, when the Infinity panel system goes in, I feel it's still extremely light. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really add any sort of heaviness to it. 
especially considering the amount of structure you get out of it. It's not like you just have heavy panels. It's like, no, you actually have an entire structure that's yeah. gonna hold all the componentry in a lightweight package, which I think is awesome. Okay, so one of the biggest questions that I, I think people have um, is, is who is this kit for? Is this for DIYers? Is it for professional builders? Is, who did you design the kit for? Who do you think it works best for? Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a funny thing, you know, I mean, I, I've had, <laughs> You know, when I first started developing this kit, you know, I've I had 20 plus years, 25 years of building experience and, um, you know, had a killer set of tools and, you know, a rad shop and just everything that I needed to do a, a, a full custom build in any van. And it was still complex. It was still oh, challenging. Yeah. I mean, it, it just the level of thinking around design and fitment and and placement and intention, it like... It just takes a lot. I mean, I've designed a lot of things, kitchens and whole houses and um, vans are a very specific thing. Yeah. And it's like, so the, really when I came into it, I was, um, I was intending it for myself. I wanted to simplify the process. So I knew that if I spent the upfront time programming and making the panel kit repeatable, that it would eventually benefit others. Yeah. But really, I started just wanting to simplify the process for myself, and I wanted it to be accurate and beautiful, so I wanted all the cutouts to be just perfect, you know, windows and otherwise. And the CNC afforded me that, that opportunity. So really, when I see what we've developed, and I think of all the people that it can help in the process of building a van, like, that stokes right. me, you know? It really, like... It makes me really happy to think that there's other people out there that can take my system, this system, and um, and get a professional quality build without all the tools, without all the design, right. and just the labor. You know, like this. This makes it fun, right? You know. Yeah, it seems like most people get a van to enjoy the van, yeah. not to get into a van building sure. process. And yeah, yeah. I can attest, um, for those of you out there who have never built a van before, um, it seems a lot easier than it is yeah. if you're doing it from scratch. Um, those of you who do build vans, you know exactly what we're talking about. It, it just starts to get a bit daunting, you know, right. like how you're gonna run everything and, and, and how you're gonna access things later too. You know, one of the things that I, that I love, <laughs> if I must say so myself, about our system is that there's access to the electrical. Like we, we don't bury it all and just kind of go like, oh, I hope it all works. <laughs> right. You know, we give access points where you can basically, all the, all the wires go from access point to access point via like a home run. Right. So you don't have any breaks in the wiring behind the panels right. all the brakes are places where you can access them yeah. and so that to me just gives it a, a level of kind of assurance that yeah. um that's really you know challenging to get otherwise right and it seems like you know for for folks who want to take on the fun and challenge of a build but don't want to buy all of the tools and go through the experience of learning how to use them safely yeah um that that this is maybe the first opportunity in this industry that people have had to build a kit that gets professional quality results yeah. um, in a fun way, but more importantly, like a safe way. Yeah. I know you have a story about <laughs> one of your van, van building friends. Could you share that? Yeah, with? totally. Yeah. I and mean, this is just not too long ago. Um, and this is sort of like case in point, like why I wanted to offer the system to people that they, number one, wouldn't have to invest in the tools, but they also wouldn't have to learn how to use them all. I mean, it's sure, anybody can turn on a saw and make a cut, but safely is another story. Right. A friend of mine who is a seasoned builder many, many years, I mean, he's, you know, in his 70s, um, you know, very competent, you know, was building out a van and just had a kickback, small piece of ply on the table saw. And it ended up kicking back and hitting him in the forehead and basically crushing his skull and his hole and his nose. Wow. He had to have full reconstructive surgery. Um, you know, just it was just super gnarly, and right. and that's not. I mean, maybe that particular thing was fairly isolated, but not uncommon for somebody to get hurt on a on a power tool with no. a power tool. Right. I mean, you know, skill saws, power, table saws, chop saws, they're all super dangerous. And I personally, the reason I have a CNC is because it's so much safer. You can do all the programming, place the material, and kind of let it be, and it doesn't like 
if, if there's anything that happens on the machine, it doesn't usually hurt anybody. It usually right. just hurts the machine. So um, I, I prefer to work smarter, not harder, and also apply technology to be safer. And I feel like super stoked that I get to offer this thing to yeah. somebody that allows them to have fun and, and be safe and, right. and in a timely fashion, get their van bill done. Right. Oh, yes. Uh, well, thank you very much. Yes, I would like one, please. Thank you very much. So it seems like the Infinity Kit is really well designed for somebody who's even never built a van before to do it successfully. Sure. But what about builders and people that build vans every day? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I hope to make their lives way easier and way more profitable, too. I mean... You know, for somebody who's doing custom builds, like, I mean, I guess you'd be pretty lucky to build, like, you know, maybe three to six vans a year if you were really jamming. I mean, that's, like, I think on the upper upper tier. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, to be able to build potentially, like, 10 to 12 vans a year um, and and have, like, the, 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 the experience of, like, working with clients in an abbreviated fashion... You know, not having to, you know, the choices are all just, they're very simple. And so I think for builders, like, I, th I hope what they're going to get to experience is working through their van builds um, quicker, more concisely. And, you know, something I know of, of from being a custom builder is a lot of the time is simply making decisions. Oh, yeah. So you're, you know, you're going through this long back and forth a lot of times of just like, and you're waiting, you're waiting and waiting, waiting, and you got to stall. You got to, you got to pause sometimes and wait for decisions. So what I'm hoping is to add efficiency to the process where the decisions are all made up front. And so all you have to do is put the kit together. Right. And there's very few things that need to be talked about during the process. So what you're going to have is an abbreviated experience which I think is better for everybody. Oh yeah. I mean, I think the client, the customer, they get full attention for a short period of time. And so I really wanna add ease and consistency and ultimately for builders profitability. Yeah. And that's something I'm, I'm super, as a builder and as you know, somebody who's been in business, you know, pretty much since I was 15, I've been in business for myself. And you know, profitability is a real thing. You know, mm -hmm. you've got to, to, to be successful in business you have to be profitable. Right. And so I'm hoping that that's what we can give people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can speak to it um, in, in our shop, which every time you're mentioning something like design time, decision making, like I'm seeing dollar signs yeah, because yeah. that stuff all adds up. And yeah. either as a builder, they're going to eat it yeah. or they're going to charge it to the client, which yeah. isn't always comfortable either totally. to charge just for a conversation. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, in our shop, as you know, we've already switched at least 50% of, of our builds directly over to Infinity Interiors yeah. because the guys love to build it. The client knows what they're getting. Yeah, Everything fits together. And ultimately, I mean, on a build that would otherwise cost, let's say $150,000, which I think for a full custom build, a lot of people are spending that much these days. Sure, easy. Yeah. I know that this is going to save, let's just call it, Thirty to fifty thousand dollars on a build like that. Most of it's yeah. labor. I mean, you have to pay yeah. for the parts. You're going to have to do that anyways. Sure. But the fact that the kit can go in in two days and not four weeks yeah. just means you know, build time in a shop is you know, if you have one guy working on your van all week, it's like five thousand bucks, right, yeah. or something yeah. of that nature. So yeah. if you can cut those weeks out, it's more fun. It saves money, and I mean that's why we want to share it with you guys. It's like I want just like you do for our builders and you know our DIYers that we're working with to just have a better experience. There's yeah. no need. I mean, if you're very if you have something in you where you need a one of a kind van that nobody else has and you need to have very specific things done to it, then um, yeah, it's probably best to go to a big time custom builder and work through that. Yeah. But if you're the average person or the average builder who just wants to get people out in their vans, yeah. it's like there's kind of no comparison at this point to what the kit's offering. That's why I'm Absolutely. so excited about yeah, it. Yeah, no, so. totally. And uh, yeah, and I think one thing too, being a professional myself, um, I really, I look forward to having those conversations with builders and like, you know, like showing them kind of the stoke, right? I mean, showing them how the system is and, you know, we're going to have training. So 
we're going to invite builders out and, you know, and make it, make it fun, make it, um, you know, I mean, we're not going to charge them to learn how to use our system. Right. You know, we, we want to, we want to make it easy for people to get into the system, um, and really see its benefits. And so I'm really excited about that. So speaking of builder community, we have a builder training coming up May 28th, 29th. And if you need more info about that, click the link in our description. And if you can't make this one, no worries. We're going to have plenty more coming up in the future. And now back to the video. When you're looking at the Infinity design aesthetic, which really caught my eye, um, can you speak a little bit about like how you think about the inside of a van and how it should look and feel? Yeah, um, I mean, I, I, I kind of, I think of myself as, um, as an essentialist. Okay. You know, at least I'm coming into that in, mm -hmm. at this point in my life. Um, I, I really enjoy just having what you need, but also having it be beautiful. And so, you know, my time building, being a custom cabinet maker and builder for 25 years, really informed that aesthetic. And I had the opportunity to build some amazing things for people like, you know, um, you know, very contemporary, um, very well thought out, designed by like, you know, top notch designers, architects. And so I really got to see some rad stuff over the years, like just, um, and, and make rad things for people yeah. and, you know, give them that stoke. And so I think, um, not I think, I know that that really did influence you know what i'm bringing into vans like i i'm trying to cut out the the excess and i'm hoping what's left is something that gives kind of a really seated peaceful experience in the van but also lets people you know again with the modularity add on as they need to so people can be as essential or <laughs> or extreme as they want depending on their on mm -hmm. their um you know their desire but it definitely has the feeling that you know that you could get the base kit and then you can make it what you want from there right. rather than feeling like you have to buy everything and then you're kind of just like that's that right you're just done right um, this has, you know, future modularity built into it. Yeah, and I think that's probably, there are a couple phrases that almost every client wants, which is modularity. It's easy to say, it's yeah. hard to accomplish. Sure. Um, and one of the big reasons is because <clears throat> things are modular, but if they're coming from different places, different manufacturers, yeah. which I think is how most people design their van, you really don't know if it's all going to fit sure. or be comfortable. Or when you're done, does it just, does it look modular and that yeah. it's just a bunch of different stuff? So what also kind of really got me stoked about the full interior kits is that all the design is done. Yeah. Does it all fit? Yes, because yeah. it's designed that way. And if you don't want to put one piece in now or you want to swap it out for another, those will be designed in as well sure. to fit. So, you know, for folks like us who have vans but also build them, there's always a temptation to change it, right? Sure. Because you want to add something new, a new technology, or you want to try something different. And this is the first time I felt like I can actually do that. Yeah. Um, take down a ceiling panel, put in another port through the roof if I want to add something. That all happens very quickly. Sure. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's kind of, the, to me, the first truly modular system that brings in the full skin on the interior plus the cabinetry plus designed in you know, your refrigeration and your sink and your power system and your water system, all those little details that are super hard for, uh, or, or at least very time consuming for the, for the average builder to do are now basically plug and play, which it just feels really good to build that way. Like, totally. you, like you said. Yeah. One of the things I noticed inside uh, a van with an infinity interior is I feel really connected to the outside, mm. which is much different than especially the, um, the manufacturers who produce thousands and thousands of vehicles, they always seem to close things in and the infinity interior seems like you're partially connected to the outside. Why do you, why do you think that is or yeah, do you feel it too? I mean, I think, you know, having spent a fair amount of time in the outdoors and, you know, when I was, uh, and still I, you know, I skateboard and snowboard and used to climb more when I was younger. I don't as much anymore, but um, I, I just really love the outdoors and I felt like, when I'm in my van, I want to feel, I want to drive into the desert and open the van up and feel like the surroundings are an extension of like what, what I'm, where I'm at in the van. And so one of the things I really like is the ability to kind of fold, potentially fold your bed away, 
and have this sort of thoroughfare in the van where you can come and go through the front and back. I can hang a hammock, I can put a sky chair in the van. I, you know, and then I can just like simply put the bed back and, and have it be, you know, that sort of really seated experience of having, you know, a full bed with a nice thick mattress. And, right. and uh, so I really, um, yeah, that's a, definitely an important piece for me. It's why, I, you know, I really love having a skylight and just the light colors, you know, the birch and, and some of the colors from, um, from the panels. It just really gives like, the, you know, the reflection of the light in the van and, and it just creates like a really natural um i don't know it's just a really high vibe yeah <laughs> it is it. it is a high vibe and i think we've both seen really great custom builds out there yeah. that some of the best manufacturers are doing sure. and and they have super fine finishes and and those are wonderful but we know they're very expensive and they take a long time sure, so sure. what i really like is the idea that you know, you can build out like a functional aesthetic interior and it's and it's available to everyone. It's yeah. like, you don't have to have a million dollars to totally. have something that feels really good. Um, <clears throat> for me, a lot of that is actually the wood that it's built out of. I think, yeah. you know, it's, it's really tempted to get into space age materials, sure. but there's something that we'll always love about wool and wood yeah, and, yeah. and down and silk. Yeah, they're silk. just authentic, yeah, you know? Exactly. It's like they're, to me, it's like those materials they just have an inbuilt um, kind of like realness to them, you know? It's like you, you, there's wood, there's wool, and, um, you know, other, you know, the mattress. The down uh, comforter. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's just like everything really, yeah, and that's important for me. You know, it's important to have things that, that, that give off, you know, good energy, you know? Right. It's like that they are, um, they're chosen for a reason. Um, you know, I always prefer like, you know, sustainably harvested woods and, um, obviously, you know, using the wool, it's, it's, uh, you know, I've been tempted to use other synthetic stuff cause it was like, you know, higher R value and this, that, and the other, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's just like, it's just, yeah, I, it, there's a certain truth, you know, to the material. Yeah. And you're living inside this environment yeah. when yeah. you're in it. You yeah. want it to be as natural as possible, totally. obviously. And, you know, nothing like smelling a a little bit of lanolin and lamb's wool, you know? <laughs> it's, exactly. uh, it's very comforting. Exactly. These kits have been many years in development and you're now releasing them to the public. Um, so what is available right now? So currently we have the 144 and the 170 base kit. Okay. And, and that's the, f the floor, the walls, and the ceiling. Correct. Okay. And we have two models, two layouts. We have the 144 Ramble okay. and the 170 Haven. Okay, and so that's the full interior kit, yeah. plus the sub panels, so that mm -hmm. people could kind of look at, uh, if they like the design, mm -hmm. then they could get the whole thing in one kit. Yeah. Okay, cool. What about going forward? Is there anything you're dreaming up right now? Yeah, um, I, uh, you know, since I was since I was a young one, I've I don't know why, but I've really loved soft goods and bags. Um, spent a lot of time in the outdoors with you know backpacks and such, and um, so I really see some amazing opportunities um, to work with uh, other manufacturers uh -huh. and do some collabs. And, and what will the bags be for? So the bags are gonna be basically like really easy like clip-on bags. Like we're, we have, we're using a, um, a system for attaching the bags and even the cabinets to the, for the uppers to the wall. And, um, and so basically they'll have like little buttons on the back of the bag and you can just like clip it right into the wall panel cool and uh and there and that'll be modular too it'll be based on a on a modular system right. so like the cabinet will fit on a soft bag will fit on and there's other attachments that'll fit on so right. it's just going to be really fun like people are going to have i think a really fun time like customizing their van yeah. and getting to choose colors and um you know just different attachments it's going right. to really kind cool. of to personalize their van but in a modular way yeah yeah right totally yeah. okay and if i know you there will be a lot more than just that. So oh, yeah. stay tuned, everyone, because there's, I know there's going to be a ton of fun products coming out that will basically add value to this system over time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cool. So the last thing I wanted to ask you is many times when we have talked, you've mentioned, you know, we're not just helping people build vans. We're yeah. building a community. Um, so talk a little bit about that, if you will. Like, what, what, are you, what are you trying to build? Yeah. Well, you know, I think... Well, one of the things I'm trying to build is stoke, right? It's like, so you build your van, it's pretty easy. So you're stoked. Right. And you get to share that stoke with other people. 
I hope, <laughs> that have done the same thing. You know, they, they've used our system, they see its benefits and its ease and its modularity. And um, I, I'm really excited to create this community where people get to like share like how they're customizing, like, customizing right. modularity, <laughs> using modularity. Yeah, just like get people together and have a forum and have a way for people to communicate about like, you know, things that they that they're using the system to innovate, like right. create their own things and and I hope to that that'll influence our future designs as well, like people giving us feedback and and saying, "Hey, you know, this is what we did to, you know, make this thing like super rad." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then um, you know, hopefully we get to implement some of those things. So I look forward to that to that um that relationship yeah. with our with our customers. Right. Yeah, I can totally relate because we've we have an amazing community, our Vanland community and has been so supportive and in response it makes us want to help people through their build. So what I hope to build and or continue to build is just relationships with people and helping them get through the process in a much easier way. Like yeah. I didn't have anybody to help me yeah. my first couple yeah, of years. Yeah, totally. If the this type of community did exist, I would have been a part of it. So totally. since it didn't, we are creating it ourselves. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to the collaboration <clears throat> that we're doing and being able to get people kits that save them money, save them time, save them pain physically and mm -hmm. otherwise. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, yeah, it's just a great project to be part of. So yeah. yeah, thanks for doing the interview. I know the audience will have other questions. Sure. Um, we're obviously gonna uh, link to everything in the description that we've talked about if people yeah. wanna find out more. Um, but definitely uh, leave more questions for us. We know that there are some technical questions that you guys have and some specifications that you're looking for on the kits. Um, and those will be coming very soon along with full tours of the completed vans and other things that you guys have been asking for. So. Thanks again, it's yeah. been awesome um, and look forward to working together. Yeah, awesome, thank you.